Hey guys, and what's up? Today we are back with some more Unturned. And just a few heads up, why I haven't been releasing videos is because I've sort of just been busy at school and stuff, so I have some free time now. Look, the sun's rising. Um, but <clears throat> the second off is that I've sort of just been at the transfer of my computer for a while, like. I've been tr I've transferred computers and data, and I've had this new one reformatted and whatnot. So yeah, and another thing is that about the game, why I look different, like not necessarily different, but he's unfamiliar. From where we last left off, is I've started a new save since I started didn't like my new save and I was very uneducated, and now I've played like about like five hours of this uh, on this save and this is where I am at right now so I've been doing quite a lot of things so let's get into it um, I, the one problem is that I, I'm not good on my... no you don't dang it uh, it's the one part about living in this house is that they just throw things there's, there's always one that spawns right here and in the garden so let's introduce so this is my car right here. I'm not sure why it's down in the garage. So there's this, my green home view, which is from that tent right there. The garage. Um, hi there. From the last time we played, I also have a format different. What's with all the zombies? Now I have to go get a new work light. Uh. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, ooh, shells. Do I need shells? I need two. Okay. So right now, I'm not really good on drink. But otherwise, I'm good. I am... Um, I'm good on food because I have a garden. And if you noticed... <laughs> While I was fighting off the zombies attacking my place, is that I live in the barricade house in whatever this town is called, Matog, whatever. So that's that. Um, I also have a farm, a running farm. Let's eat one. So that's there's that. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say. I mean, when I first started this, if you want to listen to a story, is that I started right near the airport. Belfast or whatever that place is called. And... My first weapon was a deagle. And it had five rounds. Of course, I didn't have any ammo for it yet, because I just... I, I didn't have any backpack or anything. Ran in and did all I could. And then I found out that, I, like, I found, I ran out of ammo, okay, and I sort of just ran off into the island with the boat crash right off the shore, sort of trapped there, and I ran around a lot, and eventually I found a pickaxe, that was my first weapon that made me survive. I'm not sure if you can get water from the water tower, uh, but I just head over here towards the, this area by the uh, airport. Right here. That's the island I went to over there. So that's fast. And if you want to have a quick little. Why am I doing gas can? Um, quick little uh, heads up is that. Spoiler alert, if you don't know, if you don't want to know about achievements, if you want to find it yourself, pull out the headphones, whatever, just make sure, you find some way that you aren't listening. So, now if you're listening, you are wanting to know about some achievements, 
And the team I will be talking about right now is let me eat a carrot. Um, for the secret 2014 chess tournament. It's on that island over there. So okay. Now you can put your headphones in. If you know, that, you can hear me. So that's that. What's over here? Montauk used to be a useless town, and now they have this tent here. We can do that. And for a while, I was looking around for a couple of Zubekinovs or a Zubekinov for AK-47 because I had a, a drum clip for it, but I didn't have any actual like ammo. Like I didn't have a gun. I looked around, and every time you, I guess, log in and out of a game, uh, all the zombies will respawn and same with the items. So if you're playing for an hour non-stop, if you I'm just sort of becoming rare, you just log in and log out, and voila. It's all back. And let me each run. And now, I didn't check the bottom of my house. Um, I was looking around and like, where is everything? Like, I want to find a Zubekinov and I sort of quit for a bit. I'm like, uh, let's just take a break. Then I got back on. And now I went back to the camp area. What's the camp Kingston or whatever? Let me check. Kessington Campground, whatever. I can't pronounce it. But that place. I found two Zubekinovs there. And before, I found a Manamores there. So. Yeah. I found a Dragonov. I think that's what a Manamore is. I first thought it was an Og when I played with my friends because I found it in the lighthouse. I'm like, ooh, I found an Og! Because the scope looks like an Og. But it's a Manamores. Or a Dragonov. Which is, according to a form I read, the rarest weapon in the game. Yeah. And I think that's true, since I found Uzis are pretty common to find like the lowest militia grade weapon to find. One of the lowest. And the uh, Man of Wars is the hardest, and there's an AK, but I found two AKs there. Uh, I found one Dragonov. And sadly, the Dragonov. Ooh, is a zombie. And the Jagannath had one bullet in it. I still have that bullet. I, I haven't found a um, a, a clip uh, a clip for it yet because I always like to have two clips for the weapon. And there's a Winchester over there. And there's a Winchester ammo here. Um, and I also found a, a priority here, P90. I, I got rid of that because I have a Maple Strike. And, and now, oh dang it! Uh, no. Oh, what? Who did I? Oh, hi there. Oh, I did I get my car stuck? Two AKs. So I'm pretty well set. It's just that I'm sort of making adjustments to my house. So when my friends or Ninja Viking and Zalrain come over and hop on, because I'm planning them to hop on. I'm not sure when. Maybe Thanksgiving. I don't know. Play for a bit. Let's check out the camp. I don't know if or something. <laughs> um, I find Yuri's a lot here. There's a van. I haven't played this game. I've been playing a lot of Payday 2 like, recently. And there's crime fest going on, which I'm super happy about that. Like, before crime fest, I only had like, the Hotline Miami DLC, like, a day after it came out. Um, oh, there's a time 6 scope. Then I had the Big Bank DLC and Gage Curious. Those are the three things I wanted. And <clears throat> now I have every single DLC. All of it. Except for the Wolfpack DLC from Payday 1. That's the only DLC I'm missing out of all of the Payday series. Because all of it costs like a dollar. And also play Heroes and Generals, just if you want to know that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I would say that in the middle of a recording session, but there's a heads up. And I'm going to get it. I have no use for smoke grenades. I don't care what they're for. I don't use them. It's just... I, I found three before, and I just threw them around in uh, Burrywood. 
And I'm just get my AK out. Um, I don't want you. I want this time seven. Ah, oh, I don't want the holo. I dropped the holo. Um, Tease times seven. There we go. That's nice. And then we got the Nova shotgun and the Maple Strike or M4. I'm not sure what the Nova is supposed to be a, a copy of in the game. If, if there's actual Nova shotgun, then it's Nova. But it's a some like an M1014 or something from the police since it's a police shotgun. I can also. also I'm hoping it was a spaz 12, but that's probably like a military grade level. I'm not sure what I said there, but a military grade weapon. And usually, so what I do most of the time is that I head to Charleston or whatever this place is, back to Montauk or whatever. Guild. Sometimes I'll just drive around. <laughs> Get in my car. That's G. I want to press F. Sometimes he, it's. I have a real grudge against business suit zombies. I don't know why. They're all the same zombies with different skins. But I hate business suit, business suit zombies. Oh! Look! Every time! I hate business suit zombies because there's always a crawler one and it always comes and bites my damn ankles. I don't like it. I don't like them. I don't care about army zombies. I'm completely fine with this. I got a katana which I have maxed out the melee skill for it. Uh, warrior or most of it where I can do a boom without wasting my energy. Same with the jumps. Which I found that out. Ooh, which skill. I don't know. I need sand back. No, I need a work light, because damn zombies. It's sort of stupid that I think that the zombies go for not the human, but the shield or sandbag, whatever. If it has health, it goes for it. It's like, rather go for the human? No? Okay, well, no more juice. Let's eat this potato. That's a lot of potatoes sound like when you eat them, does it? Uh, potatoes I eat don't sound like that. They don't sound all squishy. This diner is a good place to go. Oh, look! A work light! Anything else? I don't know. I'm doing right here. There's a handsaw. I don't have use for that yet. I know there's a use for them for crafting things, but I, just, I don't use it. It's just sort of useless to me. Fire exits, I have that in my chest up in the house, which you saw. On um, that building that had the note in front of it, that long building, that's my storage building. And you obviously saw my garage. Oh, oh dang, I've been hoarding up ammo. I have 22 boxes of military ammo. And I have like 19 or 20 uh, civilian ammo. I'm not sure if those are the exact numbers, but I have pretty much <laughs> Oh, what else did I hear? I'm sort of like, about the new payday update, since this, I'm filming this on when the skills and perk, when the skill tree got uh, rebuffed, where it's skills and perks now, that dealio, I sort of like spent like 10 minutes, and it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're trying to do something, it does, it is, and I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out my skill tree combo from last time. Vaccine. I like those. I've been hoarding vaccines as well. I don't know why. I do. But, yeah. I sort of like spent a while just trying to reconfigure it back to what it was, which I eventually I did. Frying pan. And on my gear, on my Gmod. Um, by the way, I placed a series of game on the roof. I don't know why I want to say that either. But, I like making things on Gary's mod and putting photos of it, like just take cinematic photos of things. Ooh, I need bolts. Are these bolts? Arrows. Be 
because I don't know. And my most recent one, which is um, as of you know a couple of days ago, two construction. That's not a construction helmet like icon down there where my hand is. That's sort of like a yellow park ranger hat. Oh well. Um. What was I saying? Payday 2, so I'm just gonna go with that. Um, sort of bummed about that. But now I have everything back. And if I was saying something before that, I completely forgot, so it was something different from that. after I saw it on YouTube because I see everything on YouTube I don't see like I'm subscribed to a lot of people on YouTube and the first good people I've ever watched and uh, like I watched YouTube when I was like seven and I think double rail and I've just watched Lego animation that's all I watched now I watch a bunch of game stuff like I'm tuned in to TVT, NIST, whatever the TF2 guy that does funny stuff. Then I'm subscribed to the, uh, most of the Oxcast. I'm subscribed to uh, Uber Hacks from Nova, which I noticed that he has a name in the safe house area. Um, hey there, Mr. Farmer. You're dead. You're dead. And, um, Then I'm going to grab the Captain Sparkles and Markiplier. <laughs> and a bunch of other guys. I'm subscribed to PlayStation because I'm more of a PlayStation fan than an Xbox fan. But I'm subscribed to outside Xbox because of their stuff. Like, their content. Let's see that you, you are a tomato. What's a cult? What are you? Are you? What are you? A wooden spike trap. I want one of those. So I can get rid of my damn zombie infants infestation. Oh, oh something happened in the background. Oh well. Let's fill up my gas can. That's a vaccine. Oh, there's a gas can right there. That's some duct tape. Yeah, that's my majority of subscribers I have. We can survive and stuff, but we can't build things. We don't know how to build things. 
Oh, you don't know what's good and what's not good besides that uh, in real life. Which one's better, a katana or a bat, you know? And uh, we found a, a Desert 10 APC, which we fixed it up, drove it for about 10 feet, and then we left it behind. Because we thought it was, like, terrible. But now I know it's, like, the rarest, one of the rarest things in the whole game. Pick. I should get rid of that. Why do I have that extra clip? Oh well. I have a lot of bandages. <laughs> How did my health regen? Oh, I have re regenerating health. Okay. Um. I just drop the blowtorch. Chocolate fire is more important than a blowtorch. Another thing I like about this game, even though I wasn't talking about that before, is that this game has a lot of. Not hand messages, but sort of like references, like with, uh, the pickaxe, not the pickaxe, um, the blowtorch, for example, is from, well, I'm assuming it's from Battlefield, because yeah. if you're an engineer class or something, use a blowtorch to repair your vehicle, and then they have uh, Left for Dead to reference, where it's frying pans. Crowbar. And that's if if you don't know what a crowbar sig signifies in gaming industries, you need to catch up on the world. There's been a third game waiting for it for about like ten years now, a lot of time basically. Um, wood uh, Burry Wood is based off Woodbury from Walking Dead. I saw that somewhere on the wiki. Um, yeah. Hi there. Oh, I do Okay. I hate fancy zombies. I'm gonna go Yeah, they're pretty much fancy zombies since they wear suits. I always hate the crawler ones. It's not the grocers or the policemen. No, it's the... The businessman. There's always something that spawns in this corner. This bank reminds me of Go Bank from Payday 2, which I, I mean, it's a challenging map. Oh, hi there. Because Go Bank has like, um, it's almost like almost all open as I can know where to hide. And it's like really hard to play. I like, I won the game. Like, I've won it like twice. One in stealth and one in loud. And when we did it in uh, loud, um, I like went through the sewers and everything. And I had a sliver of health, like where you can barely see the health bar. It was like that. Like, oh my god. Then, ooh, ranger hat. Don't need it. No. And who? Back to the thing. Who puts a bow in a storage, shed, like in a deposit box? It can't fit in there. Why put it there? Who's a generator? That's worth noting. Die. And that's another thing I think that this game should fix. 